Yeah, hello, welcome back again. This is an interesting one. <coughs> I'm addicting one of Biafra land in his Facebook. That I mean, Maze Nandekano, the leader of IPOB. In his Facebook page, he wrote, Thank you, Emma. Emia, for demonstrating that you are a good student of Radio Biafra by confirming what we in IPOB and the world have always known, that Nigeria is indeed a zoo. We are people, Nigerians, in bracket, in your own words, live like animals. The same way you admitted today that Nigeria is a zoo. We are people live like animals. One day, and very soon, you will also confess with your mouth that Buhari is dead with Muhammad Yusuf Abubakar in his place. As your Janjaweed progenitor, Utman Danfodio, once said, Conscience is an open wound. Only truth can heal it. Wow. Wow, this is very, very great. The Emir of um, Kastena by name Abdumu Mini Kabia Usman said we cannot continue to live like animals this is what the man said exactly confirming what our, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra has been saying for many years that Nigeria is a zoo do you know why he confirmed that um, Nigeria is a zoo because um, just yesterday at uh, Zabamari village of uh, Bonu State, his men slaughtered 101 rice farmers. Kid, just like that. Or maybe the Boko Haram. All of them are the same. It's either Boko Haram or... Uh, Fulani Hesmen, they are both of them are the same, operating in with different uh, different methods. You know, the government said that the farmers did not take permission first from the military before going to the farm because that area has not been cleared. Can you imagine this? And they claim that it is only 43 people that were killed. So, even if it's only 43, even if it's one person that was killed, does that person's life not matter at all? Is, it, is, is that person supposed to die? Supposed to be slaughtered like animal? The way you slaughter go, they use knife to slit their throats. Is that how a country is supposed to be? So, the government is now blaming the farmers. Instead of blaming Boko Haram, the military could not help these people because, from the information that we got, even the farmers called the military for help. They did not respond. What type of a country is that? Is that country not worse than zoo? Is that country not worse than zoo? If Boko Haram did not kill them. Iswap will kill. If it's not Iswap, Hesmen will kill. If it's not Hesmen, Bandit will kill. What is going on? What is going on? Now the army of Kasina is realizing that Nigeria is a zoo. Confirming what Nandekano has been saying. What will the government do to this man now? The army of Kasina. Are they going to, to arrest him as well? Are they going to reprimand him for calling Nigeria animals? They will not. But that is the truth. It is the simple truth. And nothing but the truth. The country is even worse than zoo. How, how does even animals, how does animals feed? Lion will kill zebra. Ego will eat snake. Snake will swallow rabbit. It's just the same thing that is happening in Nigeria. 
and Nandekano has seen this thing for many years and has been voicing his concern, giving you solution to the problem, telling you that the only solution is to divide the country. Let Biafra go, let Orudua go, let Arewa go. So that each can now start from beginning and build security for themselves. Then you will stop all this problem. You will now solve all this problem. But instead of listening to Nandekano, they said, bring him, kill him. Bring him, kill him. Bring IPOB, kill IPOB. But today, gradually, they are realizing it. Just a couple of days ago, the Sultan of Sokoto was lamenting that bandits are going to houses, people's houses. In broad daylight, in the afternoon, not even in the night, no more in secret, with AK-47, picking people, killing people. No security. Nobody to intervene. Nobody to save the people. So, it is getting clearer. One day, they will also come to realize that Nandekano is right for asking for self-determination. Definitely, they will also come and they, will, they, they must. There is no two ways. They must. Because the insecurity which they, they themselves have created, they can no longer solve it. They can no longer stop it. It is just impossible for them to, for anybody, any any sane person, to even 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 Jesus Christ come down to Nigeria today. He cannot going to save the situation about insecurity in that country. The only solution Jesus will tell you is that you have to do what divide the country. As simple as that. Then you can now stop the invasion. You can. You can then stop the invasion and save the lives of um, indigenous people. Because the, the people that are falling victims are the indigenous people. Those that are slaughtering us are foreigners. How can we solve this problem? Can anyone, can anyone say this is the solution to the problem? People are saying APC, 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 PDP, PDP. When PDP was in power, is there no problem? Is it not because of uh, Boko Haram that they, they chased good luck out of uh, office? They were shouting, oh, Boko Haram, good luck, it cannot maintain security. Oh, good luck, it's, it's giving, killing the Northerners. It's only, only Buhari that can, can save them, can save the whole country. Now what is happening? Insecurity is 100 percent worse than what it was during the time of uh, um, of Jonathan. So, is it the PDP that will come back now to come and solve the security problem? Hello, let us be frank to ourselves. The earlier we realize this, the better for all of us. For those of us that are still living. The only solution, the only solution is self-determination so that each region can build solid security from foundation and then it will save the lives of people. Because those dying, they are human beings like us. We should stop this our selfishness. Please, let us do something. Then the only thing we have to do is to seek for self-determination. Thank you.